What is Islam, in a nutshell? Before we speak about converting to Islam and what you need to know and do after converting, let me quickly introduce Islam. Islam is defined as the voluntary act of submitting yourself to God. When you become a Muslim, you submit and surrender to the will of God, just as the creation around you, providing you peace and contentment in this life and the hereafter. Only when you submit to God through a process of believing in Him and obeying His commandments, do you achieve an innate and lasting sense of security, true peace of mind, and surety of heart. As a Muslim, you don't live to fulfill your desires, lusts, and impulses. Instead, by definition, a Muslim submits their will to the Almighty God. You acknowledge and trust that God knows what's best for you, so you follow His guidance. You cannot live peacefully or successfully without religion, and this religion cannot be man-made. Religion must be utterly divine, with no human alteration inherent. The only revelation in the world today that still rings good and true is the final book, the last and final testament of God, the Holy Quran. All other traditional revelations have been lost in the annals of time, or undergone endless human-made modifications that have rendered them impractical for humanity. Unlike other sacred scriptures, such as the Bible, the Holy Quran has been preserved perfectly in both its words and meaning, and in a language that still exists today. Islam is a monotheistic faith that requires followers to admit and recognize the existence of one supreme God and being, who is almighty, all-powerful, all-knowledgeable, all-seeing, all-hearing, most merciful, and loving. Islam stresses the existence of only one God, the same God worshipped by prophets Adam, Noah, Abraham, Joseph, Moses, David, Solomon, Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon them all. Islam demonstrates the fact that throughout the centuries, God has continued to bless humanity with holy prophets bearing the same general message. The message is simple. You should worship God alone with no partners. Love him with all of your heart and follow his commandments. If you follow this edict, you will live a content life in this world and enter paradise eternally in the afterlife. If you do not believe in God and follow his commandments, you will live a depressed life and enter hellfire in the afterlife. Islam is not a religion solely based on creeds, customs, and rituals such as praying and fasting. Instead, Islam is a complete way of life that guides followers in every aspect of their lives. Islam teaches the art of living and dictates how you should steer and navigate your life. Islam instructs you about the things in this life that are beneficial to you and those that are ultimately destructive and should be avoided. Islam states that everyday human acts, such as eating, drinking, greeting each other, sitting, learning, dressing, sleeping, and giving charity, are all acts of worship if conducted for God alone and in accordance with His divine laws and guidelines. Believe and practice after submitting to your Creator. Written by The Sincere Seeker from The Sincere Seeker Collection. Narrated by Austin Van Fleet. Copyright 2023, The Sincere Seeker. All rights reserved. May your journey to the answer and the truth be pleasant and successful. The Sincere Seeker's introductory book to Islam, The Sacred Path to Islam, and other Islamic books for adults and children are available on the Sincere Seeker's Amazon page at www.amazon.com forward slash the Sincere Seeker. You are encouraged to visit and subscribe to The Sincere Seeker's blog at www.thesincereseeker.com and The Sincere Seeker's YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash The Sincere Seeker. For questions or comments, please contact me at hello at thesincereseeker.com. Thank you for listening.